City of McAllen is scaling back its support for the Sacred Heart Respite Center. They were counting on being refunded by the federal government. The city still has yet to see a dime. Channel 5's Carolina Cruz tells us why the city feels that the need to continue aiding even if it's minimal. McAllen City Manager Roy Rodriguez says the help provided by the city over the years is a call to action they made. Even though the support came at a cost to taxpayers, Rodriguez says the aid pays off in the long run. As days go by, the city of McAllen's presence fades from the Sacred Heart Respite Center. They've been a great help. Of course, now that we don't have really uh, people here, there's certain things that we don't need anymore. And so those services are no longer needed, and so they're not providing it for us anymore. The city minimized efforts due to a significant decline in immigrants at the respite center this year. Rodriguez says the federal government agreed to reimburse the city for its support. The federal government on at least one occasion has budgeted money for this. The city never saw that money. After the state received the funds, the allocated amount for McAllen never trickled down to the city's account. I think that the reason we haven't gotten help is because of that anti-immigration sentiment. And there's a lot of the confusion is why are you doing this for illegal immigrants? They're not. Not when they get to us. Rodriguez says the city continues their support because people at the center have permission by the federal government to be in the country. Rodriguez says the city isn't obligated to help the respite center, but does because of the benefit to the local community. The mission to us is kind of different, uh, and that is we want to keep people off the streets. Uh, we want to make sure that they have transportation to this center, keep them out of the bus station for a long uh, amount of time, you know, just the time they need to board a bus. Right now, the continuing support comes in the form of a few dollars per day. The city plans to continue its support in spite of the small number of people at the respite center. We reached out to Governor Greg Abbott and Senator John Cornyn to see what is being done to reimburse the city of McAllen financially. We haven't heard back from either office. In the studio, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 6. And we wanted to look back at some key months for the Sacred Heart Respite Center. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. The Respite Center opened after an influx of immigrants, mainly from Central America, arrived at our border. That was in June of 2014. The flow of Central Americans who crossed the border illegally fluctuated throughout the next couple of months. In November of 2016, the center saw an all-time high, seeing 80 to 100 people a day. That was the same month an announcement to relocate the respite center to a new facility was made. March of 2017, the respite center saw an all-time low in a month's time. They averaged less than a dozen people a day. Some days, not one person was dropped off at the center. 